I know. I just want to congratulate Carol Mastromaro on her award for Model UN. She exemplifies dedication and commitment of public school teachers, and she is a role model for our younger history staff. And I just want to congratulate Carol for this honor. Thank you. Um, one of the most caring, giving, and passionate teachers and people I've ever met. I love Model UN. Um, I would do it every day. I would do it, in fact, I use it, I use that model constantly. You know, how to do position papers, we have debates, you know, that whole idea. To get kids to work cooperatively, public speaking, okay, all of these things are, are traits that they really need to know to be successful. As the kids apply a lot of those skills in kind of real world scenarios, so that way a lot of the students feel ownership of what they're learning because they're able to use it in this, these simulations that we do. I like that it creates a situation where kids become global citizens. They see things differently. So what they have to do is take on the perspective of their country. First they have to research the problem, then their country, and then how their country reacts to this problem. So that I encourage kids to put some of the network news on their phone so that they can see what's going on in the world. Um, and they become really interested in the problem. So I think that, you know, raising students to global citizens is extremely important. You guys have to be aware of what's going on outside of Malden. They loved it. We do class simulations and they develop a little confidence. And then the kids who go on to the committees, you know, they go on to the conferences, they're flying high. They think they're experts on Mali UN. And um, then some of our kids go on to do the summer program at uh, Harvard Business School with Mali UN. The greatest success I found is that, um, I mean, especially Mrs. Master Marsh, she's we're able to have kids write, speak, and think at a much more sophisticated level than they ever thought they were capable of. And uh, a lot of that can be attributed to Ms. Master Morrow's work in terms of setting up a framework for all the teachers to use, because basically she was the first one to do it and she kind of led the way for all of us. I just think that uh, these kinds of programs are wonderful to make kids aware of the world situation. And now, you know, once you start Model UN and you start doing global issues, Kids start to listen a little bit to the news. Like, my kids now are really interested in what's going on in Syria. Um, they they want to know more. Okay, uh, like now we're doing uh, a little situation where they had to group, decide whether they they have different groups, whether they're terrorists or freedom fighters, and they're looking at it from different perspectives. Sometimes you have to defend a position that you don't really agree with, and um, that's really great. Oh,